Wanna play Black Desert Online totally for free? Keep on watching and I will tell you how to. Hi, my name is Pika, I'm a small content creator and streamer and I play Black Desert Online for around 5 years now and I wanna give you some tips and tricks to play the game for free. First and foremost, foremost we must get you a copy of the game, right? So, yes. But normally you would have to pay. I think the game is around 10 to 20 euros, the base game. And then you can also get like higher packages, but we don't care about those. We can get all of that stuff for free in the game. What we could actually do is get a free copy of the game by claiming some of the Twitch drop events that Pearl Abyss and Black Dash has online as a game does with Twitch. You would just need to watch a certain amount of time on somebody's stream to claim those free drops and then just go on to their official website and redeem the code. But be sure to make an um, account beforehand so that you can link your Twitch account and your Black Desert Online account so that you can get the drop. If you though don't want to uh, wait for, the, for an event like this, like this to happen again, which it could take a significant amount of time, you could also try to get the game on a discount, which Kakao Games actually does quite often. And you can save yourself some money right then and there. When you first start the game, be sure to make it a season character, because you get a lot of um, nice things while doing the season pass for free. You can upgrade this season pass for 10 euros, but we really don't care about that because you get quite enough uh, without it. So when you first start up the game and choose a server, do choose novice only server, which I cannot choose right now, but that doesn't matter. So we just enter a server and then we make a new character. Yes, and we want to make a new character. And normally here, there would be a thing called, what, do you want to make season class? And you will just say, yes, I want to make a season class. So now we've got our season character. She's looking nice and fine. She's a Valk over here. But as you can see on the top right corner, there is the season pass, which we will look at now. From the season pass, you will get a lot of free stuff by completing uh, these quests. So it's mostly about leveling stuff up, but also to do some other stuff like enhancing, but it is quite easy with the Tuvala gear. So by just completing this season pass, you will get a lot of free stuff. You will get a lot of inventory expansion and you get some spring seals, which you can also exchange for stuff later on, like we see here for also an exp uh, expansion coupon or also for free horses. They actually don't really need to spend the money. You could get the upgraded season pass, which costs around 10 euros. You will get a lot of um, free stuff, uh, free. You will get a lot of stuff here as well, but actually we do not need this kind of stuff because we will get it later on in the game for free. It is recommended for new players to do the whole quest line and not skip out on the quest line because you get a lot of free stuff from the quest line. While playing the game, you will see that you need pets to pick up stuff from the ground. You could actually pay for pets in the pearl shop, which they're right here under the pet tab, and then you can choose from a lot of different kind of pets. They all have their pros and contras. Some are faster than picking up uh, at picking up stuff, and some pets give you like better experience or better uh, buffs for life experience instead of combat, but. For now it doesn't really matter we don't want to spend this money so we just keep this away you can actually get free uh, free pets by completing also quests which are on the suggested quest uh, tab here down here where it's pets loyal companions so you can get quite a few pets and they will be perfect for starting out the game you actually need uh, to start out you actually need Four pets so that every pet can pick up something and then you can level them up to different tiers but that is a thing for later on when you get to higher tier levels uh, to higher grinding levels i will give you later on also a suggestion on how to get more pets from the game itself without spending any real money by completing some of the suggested quests you can also expand your inventory by quite a bit you will get one or two um inventory expansions but it will amount to some stuff so yeah 
As you progress through the game, you will also see that you will struggle a little bit with your late weight limit, which every character has. You can actually improve your weight management uh, by pushing the K button on your keyboard and scrolling down. You will see that we have the weight training down here, which we can absolutely enhance with skill points. But our best friend in the game is our horse. Yeah, you will get a free horse during your uh, games. You can exchange them with the season um, exchangeables. And when you struggle with it, you see right here at the right corner here on top, we have exceeded our weight limit by 10%, right? When grinding, you put your horse in, in some safe spot near your grinding zone where you can then access it very frequently and just put all your stuff on your horse. So normally you would just push the F6 key and then you see that your horse has its own inventory and this one is your inventory. And then you put just the heavy stuff onto your horse. And see, just like that, the weight limit is down. If you exceed your weight limit yet again, just and you cannot put anything on your horse anymore, like this. Okay, maybe this doesn't work. Maybe like this. You cannot put anything back onto your horse. You just get the stuff back out. And back in. And like this, you put all your inventory and weight onto your horse. And then later on, take it out and put it back in. Until you're finished with your grind and then you go just to the next village or to the next vendor and sell all the stuff to him. So the horse uh, does have a weight limit itself, but you can exceed that weight limit just by getting everything out of, the invent of his inventory and putting it back in. And boom, weight limit problem solved. As you will later on see in the game, other people will have mates and butlers who will put stuff into their storage or on the central market. Starting out, you will not have any mates or butlers because the season pass normally doesn't include them. But don't you worry, we don't need to spend any money on that. Kakao and Black Desert Online actually give away quite a few of the storage or of the mate or butler contract. You just have to log in almost every day and you will get a login reward like this one. Right now we have a free contract storage mate reward that I already got. It will be in our Black Spirit inventory, which I have very many things inside here. Uh, I already redeemed it, but that doesn't matter. You will find it in here and then you will just contract her and then you will just contract her. Like this, I have never really spent any money on a storage mate. And during the years, I have accumulated quite a bit of them. So these are all my central market and my storage mates. And I've gotten all of them for free just by playing the game and logging in. You also get a ton of other stuff for free just by logging in. Like at the moment, we have the after party login rewards where we get like free cover stones every day, as well as some other stuff. If you are like in a guild, you get guild bonuses and at the moment, we also have the seventh anniversary gift for logging in daily, where we get three outfit boxes. So problem solved there as well, and other freebies. So yeah, that is also very nice. And it's just by daily logging in. You don't even have to pay the game. You just log in, get your reward and log out. Sometimes you get storage expansions. Sometimes you get inventory space. Sometimes you get mates or butlers or even value packs. These are all things that you would originally pay for with your money, but by just logging in, you get them for free. And last but not least, you see that we have a camping tool here. It's for the tent. Lots of people talk about the tent buff. The real tent does cost money. You cannot get the real tent for free in the game, but we can get something that is quite similar. We just will search for a old moon manager that is located in any city. We are at the moment in Calfion, so we just go to the old moon manager. As you can see, we have found our old moon manager. We will just go talk to him and open his old moon shop. You can see here that we can get an old moon camping shop contract, which you can buy with 
in-game currency. It's not as expensive, it's around 14 million, but that is very quickly done. You also need to get the Old Moon camping container contract, as well as the Old Moon um, anti-corrosive. So you need to get these three things for your free tent. So, oh, and as a last special thing, let's be honest, the real endgame in this game is the outfits. So, as you can see, we have a lot of outfit choices in game. Lots of very nice costumes, but they are quite expensive. They cost around 29 to 34 euros each. And you would like to have one costume at least for every character, right? So, there are two easy things. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you can actually um, get some rewards from Amazon Gaming Prime Gaming website. They gave out a free custom box and a free horse apparel box um, in the last few months. And if you really want some of these costumes, after maintenance, there will be some special uh, discounts on costumes or bundles on costumes. And a lot of people buy these bundles with the real money and sell them in game to make some ca quick cash in game. As we can see at the moment, we get one of the premium outfit boxes in a bundle, very cheap. Um, we get seven wait. So you would get six of the premium outfit box bundles if you bought the seventh anniversary supreme pack, right? So a lot of people, a lot of people do buy them and then sell these things on the central market. So be sure to go into the central market and scroll down here to the pearl item section. So you can get a lot of things in-game currency on the central market as well. So you would just go into one of these tabs. So you would just go into one of these tabs and search for the things or search up here for the thing that you search for and put up a pre-order. Like you see here, many things have a pre-order up for this Scarlet Destiny premium set. Put up a pre-order and then just hope that the RNG gods are with you and that you will be one of the lucky few that uh, gets a outfit box from the central market. You can also get from the central market a lot of other things as well, like some functional stuff, like a value pack. You get value packs by daily logging in. They give out a lot of value packs there, sealed books as well as, uh, yeah. You get a lot of um, sealed books and value packs by just going into the game and yeah, playing it. But you can also put up a pre-order for these things as well. So you can really just put up any order like I have here. Put a pre-order up. You can only put a pre-order up for one of these things though. Only one pearl shop item is gonna be on pre-order. And you just hope to get it. So let me just show you. I want a value pack. I want to be one of those 5906 lucky people that gets one of these items. So I just put in my pre-order and let's hope for the best that I get it. You can also later on get yourself some more pets from these items from the pearl shop section in the central market. Because you want to level up your pets to a tier 4 and 1 to a tier 5 pet. So you just go into the game and put a pre-order up as well for these things and hope to be one of the lucky but you can see i can only pre-order uh, one pearl item thing you will also see that in europe in the eu servers there aren't a lot of people that put things up for sale like custom boxes more people do that on the na servers so when you choose a server and you really want to get like free costumes and stuff like that, be sure maybe to choose the North American servers instead of the European servers. They really do tend to spend a little bit of more money, but there are a lot of Europeans playing on the NA server. I hope I've been of help over here. 
I hope you liked this video. It's my first YouTube video, but I hope to make a lot of videos for you guys here with tips and tricks from video as well as to our content. And yeah, be sure to follow me on my other stuff. I am a Twitch streamer. I stream almost daily at 10.30 p.m. CET. Do leave me a thumbs up if it was of any help or a thumbs down if you did not enjoy it. Really anything does help out. It tells me if I did a good job or if I didn't. So do please leave a thumbs up or down or a comment or a follow if you want to see more of me. And yeah, thank you all for coming by. Mm.